Okay, Boss Dog from Boss Dog Coin Rings here. And we're getting ready for our fifth penny box hunt from Las Vegas this year. Okay, our showcase ring for this penny box hunt is going to be a state quarter. And this one happens to be a Nevada state quarter. Look how nice that looks. Look how beautiful those things are. Nice and shiny. Let's see here. Nevada. Inside. United States of America. Okay, that's our showcase ring. I can make any, any state quarter that you like. This has got an antique finish on it. So all the detail pops real nice on it. So there you go. That's our showcase ring. Any state quarter. You can get this on my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Okay. And right here, I've, I've checked for enders on top. I have not turned them over and looked on the bottom. So we'll be surprised if we find an ender on the bottom. Let's open up a few rolls and see what treasures we can find. I'll bring you in with the first find. Okay, roll number nine. And we have our first find and looking right at me here. Usually these wheat scents, uh, if, if it's the wheat side out, I can pick them out when I spread them, but when they're looking at you, they're hard to find until you get right up on them. But anyway, that's our first find of the box. 1951D. 1951D. We'll take it. I'll put him right there. While I got you here, we'll take a quick look here and see if there's anything else hiding in this roll. Nothing else in this roll. Okay. On with the hunt. Okay. 15th roll of the box. 15th roll of the box. And we have our second wheat scent. Like I said, this one here snuck up on me. When they come face up, they sneak up on me. They're, like I said before, they're easier to see if the wheats are after you spread them out. But there it is. 1954D. It's a nice looking weedy. Okay, there we go. Our second, our second find of the box. Let's take a quick look route through here. See if there's another one hiding. See if he's got any friends hiding in this roll. No more friends in this roll, okay? On with the hunt. Okay, the 14th roll, I just spread them out. And I see there's our third wheat scent of the box. So they're easy to find, but you can see the little wheats on the back of them. So this is our third wheat scent of the box. 1956D. Got a little crease across the front there. 1956D, okay. We'll put him right there. And we'll check real quick to see if there's any friends. If he's got any friends in here. No, nothing there. No friends there. Okay. No friends in this row. Okay, look at here. I did find there's a 2009. Let's see if the error is on that one. I haven't been keeping these 2009s. We're looking for the fourth finger right there. I don't see the error there. I'm not keeping the 2009s any longer unless they're in real good shape. And I think I'll, I think I'll keep him. I think I'll put him right there. Okay, no more friends in this roll. On with the hunt. Okay, our fourth wheat scent of the box looking right at me. Snuck up on me once again. Nineteen forty. Let's put it underneath the scope. Whoa, look at there. Nineteen forty S. Okay, we'll take it. Nineteen forty S. Wow, okay. S S mints are pretty nice to get. And that's a that's a nice looking coin. We will take him and we'll put him right there, right underneath our showcase ring. 
Okay, fourth wheat center of the box. Let's take a look right now. See if he's got any more friends in this roll here. And it doesn't look like it. And okay, on with the hunt. Okay, box number 19. And we found our fifth wheat scent right there. I, they're always easy to see after you spread them out. You can see the little wheat there on it. They're always easy. I hate them when, they, when they're facing forward. They're hard to find. 1949. Oh, 1949S. Oh, 1949S. Oh, good. I like the S mints. 1949S. We will take him and we will put him right there. And we'll take a look and see if he's got any friends in the box here. I mean, in this roll. Uh, no more friends in this roll. Okay. On with the hunt. Okay, our 31st roll. And I, I really didn't see this, but it's really nasty looking. Our sixth wheat scent penny of the roll really looks bad. Let's see. Gosh, I can't even see that. Let's put it underneath it. Let's put it underneath the scope here and see. 1942 in really bad shape. 1942, okay, that's our our sixth wheat penny. For the roll, 1942. We'll put him right there. Let's check and see if he's got any more friends in this roll here. Before we go on here. No more friends in this roll, so on with the hunt. Okay, roll number 42. We have almost an ender here. Right there next to the very big... Uh, I like it when the wheat show because they, they stick, as soon as I spread it out, I saw that. One coin away from being an ender. Oh, look at here. Wow, a 1944. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, this is our seventh wheat scent. Seventh wheat scent of the box. And let's take a look here and see if there's any more treasures in here. Almost an ender. How do you like that? Okay, we'll see here. Let's see if we got anything else here. Oh, there's an ugly looking, there's an ugly looking penny. Okay, no more friends in that roll. Okay, we're getting about, just about the average that I get with, with only eight rolls left. I get an average of, of eight wheat cents. So we've got, we got one, two, three, four, five. We got seven wheat cents with eight rolls to go. Well, anyway, on with the hunt here. Okay, 45th roll of the hunt. And this looks like it might be a nice roll. First off, right here, right up front, we have a wheat penny that's looking right at me. Those are the ones that are hard to find. Usually you can see the wheat cents on the back. 19, let's look at that underneath the skull. Looks like a 1945S. 1945S, there we go, 1945S. That's, that's a nice, a little bit of damage. Okay, 1945S, we'll put him, we'll put him right here. And I'm looking through here and I see some friends in there. There's a friend right there. There's another friend with his back to us. How do you like that? 1942. Wow, this is our ninth, our ninth wheat scent. 1942. All right, we'll put him right there. And I see something else in here. We have a Canadian. Wow. Three fines and one roll here. 1976. 
Now, I, I haven't been bringing you in for the Canadians, but this is this is the second Canadian right there. That's the second Canadian we found. We'll, I'll do a recap at the very end here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look here. We have another Canadian. Oh, wow. What a, what a roll this is. The 45th roll, two wheats. Oh. Well, let's put this underneath the scope. I can't see this. 1968. Damn, it's pretty good, but there it is. 1968. Wow, four fines. Four fines in one roll. Let's keep looking. I don't think I've ever had... I don't think I've ever had four fines in one roll. How do you like that? Two wheat cents and two Canadians in one roll. Okay, we have five rolls left. We have three, six, nine wheat cents. On with the hunt. Okay, 49th roll, and we have our 10th wheat cent. And it's right there. I, can, I like these. When the wheat's showing, I can pick them right out. It's when the heads are showing, I can't. And we have a 19, let's see what that, oh, 1953. I thought it said 1959. We got a 1953 wheat cent. All right. I like that. Ah, 1953 wheat cent. Okay. We'll put him right there. And we'll take a look real quick to see if there's if he has any friends in this box. I don't see any friends in here. We have one roll to go. After that one roll, we'll bring you in for a recap. But right now we got three, six, nine. We got 10 wheat cents. And a couple, a couple other treasures I'll recap at the end of this box. So on with the hunt. Okay. There it is. We look through all 50 rolls here. And we'll do a real quick recap on what we have here. We found... Four Canadians. I don't like to bring you in for all the Canadians, but we have a 68, a 76, two 76s. And this, I like the, I like these. This is a, an 87, but this is the 12 sided Canadian. I like to keep all the Canadian scents because they quit making them in March of, 2012 so i keep all i keep all the canadians it's kind of interesting uh, i watched a northern northern coin roll hunting uh coin roll hunter and he hunts through boxes of canadian pennies and whenever he finds an american penny he says oh look what i found this is a treasure it could be a 19 or a 2017 American penny, but that's a treasure to them. You know, the same with us. We look through our pennies here and we find Canadians. Oh, we found a treasure, but we still make our pennies. Canada stopped making their pennies. So these really are treasures when you find a Canadian penny. And I have a three, six, I got nine uh, S, S pennies. Now S pennies are kind of cool because in 1974, they stopped making San Francisco mint pennies with an s mint mark on them the only way you can get a penny after 19 starting in 1975 you can get a penny with an s mint mark on it is a proof set so these are all circulated up until 1975 and then the only way you can get an s mint is like i said through a through a proof set so i keep all my s mints and i i got a real nice one here this is a real nice 19 1969 s now these are these are going to be all upgrades to my albums here these are all like in mint state like here's a 1962 look at that 1962 you wonder how this gets in here it's like like 50 years old 50 years old it's almost in uncirculated condition you wonder how that gets in a box of pennies but 
These are going to be all upgrades to my album here. I got a 62, a 67, 69, 77. And this one here, this 2019, it's almost like a proof. So that's going to go on my album. I keep all the 59s. I got three 1959Ds. And the reason I keep the 59s is because that's the, the very first year they made the Lincoln Memorial scent. They went from the wheat scent to the Lincoln Memorial scent on the back in 1959. So I keep all the 1959s for one reason or another. I've looked through all these coins for errors. There are no error coins. I stopped keeping the 2009s, but I just can't help myself whenever I see something really nice. So I kept, I kept seven 2009s, and the only reason I keep them is because they're low mintage. So I and I and I've looked through I've looked through all these for the errors and there are no errors in these but I just can't help keeping them as much as I don't I've got rolls and rolls of them but the only time I'm going to keep them from now on is when they're really in nice shape like this so I kept seven of these I got three six nine three six I get ten wheat cents ten wheat cents my my average it started up. The, the the box started off slow, but it warmed up at the end. But I've got some really nice ones here. There's a 40S, 40S, and these are these are 42s. That's a weak 42, and there's a nice 1942. I love these wheat scents. 1944, 1945. Let's take a look at that on the scope. That's a 1945S, a little bit of damage there. I've looked through all of these for errors. There are no errors in them. Here's a 51D, 45S, 1953. There's a 1949S, that's a nice one. 1949S, yes, uh-huh. Anyway, of course, I keep all the wheat scents. 1954D, 1956D. So, not a bad, not a bad box. Not a bad box. Our fifth box of the year from Las Vegas. And once again, uh, my showcase ring is state quarter, state quarter coin ring. This one here happens to be a Nevada antique finish. You can, like I said before, you can go and I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link in the description box below to my Etsy shop where you can go order one of these state court, any any state that you like, any state that you like. <clears throat> and uh, please subscribe and like to this video. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I think my next video is going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to try to get some, some, uh, nickel boxes and, and hunt some nickel boxes break it up a little bit but not all in all this is a nice box i got a little bit of everything here that's what i like about hunting pennies i can always find something i like and something i like to keep i keep stuff that some people don't keep and and i don't keep stuff that some people do keep i don't keep any copper pennies but anyway i hope you like this video please subscribe like leave a comment below hit that notification button for future videos and this is boss dog coin rings here and you have a good day.